Well, hello, friends. Good morning. I am Pastor Lauren. I'm one of the pastors here at Culpeper United Methodist Church. I'm here in my office with my coffee and just have some announcements and things to share with you about Sunday worship as we prepare uh, to get ready for worship today and some things going on in the life of our church this week. So the first thing that I want to make sure that you know about quickly is what our plan is for worship this morning. For the entire month of May, we have two worship services available. At 8 o'clock, you can join us in the lower parking lot. You can either stay in your car and do drive-in worship, or you can get out of your car um, and either bring a blanket and sit on the ground, bring a chair, uh, sit on the back of your car on the tailgate or bumper, if that's your style, and do outdoor worship. That happens at 8 o'clock. And then at 10 o'clock, we have our indoor worship service that's in our sanctuary. You can also find that worship service on Facebook or YouTube via our live stream. So there are four different ways to worship with whatever level you are comfortable. I hope that you join us for one of those services today as we've got some great things planned. That kind of leads me to uh, something that I wanted to touch on a little bit. There's been a lot of information in the news in these last couple of days regarding CDC guidelines, the governor's executive orders and masks. And maybe you're wondering, how does this impact our church? How are we making our decisions about what we're doing to keep people safe? Um, and I wanted to uh, just go ahead and say that we are working on that. We continue to have conversations. For today, uh, we are still following our old practices. There was not enough time to have all these kind of conversations and make sure people were aware and informed of what those things would look like before worship on Sunday. Um, and so we are working on that uh, right now. That means that to come to one of our services in person, we do need you to still wear a mask and fill out our health forms. We've got volunteers that will take care of that for you. Um, and then if you uh, do come to our drive-in service and you stay in your car, you certainly don't need to wear a mask because you are inside your car. But if you're outside your vehicle, then we do need folks to wear their masks. That's what we've been doing here. Uh, one thing that I just wanted to make sure that you all knew about was how are we making our decisions? How will decisions be made for our church? So if you weren't aware, we have had what's called a healthy church team for over a year. Uh, we get, in addition to the guidelines that we follow from our governor, things from the governor's executive order and those state mandated requirements, we've also had a set of requirements from our bishop. The bishop is our um, supervisor, our, our governor of sorts for all of the United Methodist churches in Virginia. So we have a healthy church team that takes those guidelines from the bishop uh, which in some cases are stricter than the guidelines from the governor. Of course, we are not exempt from following these government restrictions as well. Uh, but in some cases, the ones from our bishop are more strict. And then our healthy church team takes those and puts our plans into action as to how we're going to follow them. That means that the decisions that we make for our church to respond to things like COVID-19 are not just being made by me and Pastor John and Kelly, our executive director. It's made by a whole team full of folks. If you're curious about who's on that team, I would be happy to let you know. Uh, one of the things that we have struggled with as a healthy church team in this past year, a little over a year, is that everyone is comfortable with something different. We've got some folks in our church uh, who have said from the beginning that they don't want to wear a mask and that they don't want to return to worship until uh, a mask is optional. On the other end, we've got folks in our church who have said, I'm not comfortable uh, attending worship even with masks. We've got folks on a whole spectrum here. We've got people who have said, I'm ready to sing inside the building again, and I would like to do that. We've got other folks who have said, I'm not going to be comfortable coming to in-person worship if there is singing happening. We've got some folks who have been fully vaccinated. We've got some folks who have said, I'm not going to be vaccinated. Uh, so we're trying to juggle all of these parts as we are a very large congregation and everybody has such different opinions. So what we've been trying to do is to hold all those things in tension. We've been trying to do whatever we can uh, to pray about how God is calling us to respond. Uh, we take re the responsibility seriously to keep people safe in our church. And we're trying to do our best to do that. Unfortunately, with all these different opinions, what that means is that uh, there is not one answer that everyone will be excited about. I imagine that there are some of you, when you heard uh, the news that the CDC and the governor were relaxing some of these mask bans, I imagine there were some of you that were full of celebration and cheer. And there were some of you that were saying, oh, no, that doesn't make me feel good at all. Uh, so what I'm, what I'm doing and sharing that with you uh, is trying to remind you that we've got folks who have such a wide variety of thoughts on how we should handle COVID-19 in our church and to ask for your prayers. As our healthy church team is continuing to meet uh, this week, and I imagine over the next couple of weeks ahead as we continue uh, to envision what it looks like for us to move forward as a church as we continue to make these decisions about our response, 
I invite you to join us in prayers. You all have been so gracious uh, throughout this season as we've continued to navigate this, and we certainly need your continued prayers uh, as we as we make these hard decisions. So I invite you to pray for us. Uh, you can ask if you have any questions, if you're not sure, if you have things you want to share with the team, you can uh, give us a call at the office. You can send me an email, send Pastor John an email. We can make sure your words get uh, to the right folks. We sent out a survey um, in our e-communication this past week relating to some questions around VBS and missions in particular, but there are some questions in there that relate to COVID. So it would be awesome if you could fill that out. Um, let us continue to hear your voices as we're making these decisions. Uh, but again, if you've got questions, even once our news comes out with what our plan is, I would tell you if I knew what it was, we just don't have our plan yet. Um, if you've got questions, you want to talk through what that looks like for you and your family, you and whoever you attend worship with, uh, please feel free to do so. We, we want to do whatever we can to continue to uh, increase the number of folks who are comfortable returning to worship while also respecting that for some people, uh, right now is still not an appropriate time to return to worship in the building. So know that the live stream is not going away, um, and we are just trying to do everything we can uh, to to continue uh, to be the church right now. One of the things that I've been really grateful for um, is that our church has never stopped. We have never canceled worship. We may not have had in-person worship for a number of weeks, a couple of times, uh, but we've continued to have church and we've continued to be the church. Um, and that has truly been a joy for me in this season. Well, friends, that was a lot of rambling information. Um, I just know that there are many of you that perhaps have had questions as you've seen uh, some of these things pop up with news from the governor, news from the CDC. Um, and I just wanted to let you know what our process looks like as a church as to how we make these decisions moving forward and what we are doing about them for now. So the short version um, is right now for this Sunday morning, things have not changed. Our Healthy Church team is working on it. And if you have thoughts you want to share, please feel free to reach out and to do so. I'm going to finish this coffee and head out to worship downstairs. Um, and I look forward to worshiping with you, whether you will be here uh, in person in the sanctuary, in person, um, in your car for drive-in or outdoor service, or you'll be worshiping with our live stream. Our worship will surely be better because you're a part of it. See you soon, friends.